Hey everybody, it's Shelby and we're in Shelby's Crafty VIP. So you probably have the video before this that where I did the bow and then I made a second bow the same way just without the four inch ribbon. And so I just went ahead and pre-recorded that as a tutorial um, by itself, but it's preluding this wreath. So we are going to be making a Valentine grapevine wreath, but it's going to be pretty different than um, your standard grapevine. You know, when you think of grapevines, you mostly think of a big bow, a sign, and a lot of florals. And this one's going to be different than that. This one's still going to have embellishments and um, ornaments and things like that. So it's going to be a little bit different. So it should be a fun design. So let's go ahead and um, get our resigns and get those added. Now, we already made the heart together. And I did cut out a piece of felt and go ahead and glue it on the back. And what I did when I... I cut out my piece of felt, I cut two little eyes and stuck a pipe cleaner through it this way, and then I glued it down. So now I have my attachment already attached to it, and so I don't have to worry about putting any mounting brackets or anything on it. And it has this felt, so you can glue it, when we get it put on here, we can glue it wherever it's touching that grapevine to help it adhere to it. So we are going to be adding this one and this one how super cute is this so we have like this whimsical buffalo check going on and we're throwing in this houndstooth pattern because we're just going to make a whimsical fun valentine's vibe like a little country edge but not really country so i really like these two together so let's go ahead and we're going to add this one right here along this right side and so i'm going to try to get this in here at an angle. Now it is going to hang down some, so I'm shooting high with my pipe cleaner and I'm just sticking it through the grapevine, possibly. I'm going to try to thread it through. Okay, so there's one. And then I'm going to thread the other through. It can be a little tricky because all of those sticks get in the way. I know this takes a while and I would do this beforehand, but I feel like it defeats the purpose of the tutorial. I think I almost got it. Where'd it go? I lost it. It almost came out and then it circled back. Okay. Fix my wreath stand back. Okay, so I got them both pulled through, which is perfect. It sets my heart up perfectly how I want it. And so I'm going to go ahead and twist those. And twist that tight just like that. And so now, make sure my wrist didn't move. So now we have that one off to the side. Just like that. Okay. <coughs> now it's not exactly in position. Now that's how I want it, but it does tend to want to go this way. But that's okay because we're going to fix it with our other heart. This grapevine doesn't want to stay where I want it though. Okay. Can you tell see that? That move. Went all over the place. Okay. Now, this one is going to go right here and overlap it. Just like that. So I only put one mounting bracket down here because we're going to glue the heart to this other heart. And so that's what's going to help hold that in place. So I'm going to figure out what height I want it and I want them to go just like that and I'm going to go ahead and secure it with my mounting tab area and then we will glue it. Maybe. Okay. 
All right, I got it pulled through. Now let's make sure it's where we want it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down so I can pull it through good. And I'm just pulling it tight so I can twist it. And so now I have the hearts exactly where I want them. So now we're going to take some glue and I'm just going to squeeze some back behind here. and glue that to that other heart. And it's a wooden heart, um, y'all saw in this tutorial, so it's gonna adhere better. And then you have that fabric for it to glue to, so it's gonna stick really nicely. And now these two are just gonna kind of hold each other in place. And I am gonna run some hot glue, my trash. Run some hot glue back here to my mounting bracket and just drizzle some on there. And we're gonna come behind this heart where it's touching the grapevine and just drizzle just a little bit because any little bit where it's touching is just gonna help it hold on just a little bit better. Okay, so there are our attachments. Now we are gonna add our bows. And we're gonna we're adding our bows first because you want to know where your bows are gonna be placed because all of your um, extras, your embellishments and everything are gonna work around it. So we have our big bow here. And I think I like it just like that. We could turn it. No, I think I like it going up and down like this. All right, so we're putting this one pretty much at the bottom. Just run these pipe cleaners through. Sure it's where we want it before we pull it tight. Okay, so there's that one. And so now that we have it on our grapevine, we can see how our tails look. And if we want to move or, I mean, uh, yeah, move everything around, cut anything a little bit shorter. And we do. You don't want a huge floppy tail on your grapevine. So we are going to cut this shorter because we're going to be putting so much more up there. I need to cut it straight for one. There we go. So we'll cut that one a little shorter. This one a little bit shorter. This one I definitely want to hang down, so it's good. These are good. We'll cut this one a little shorter. That one looks fine for now. This one needs a little cleaner dovetail. So we just clean that bow up just a little bit. So isn't that so pretty so far? That looks so awesome. Now it is a little bit heavy on that side. That's why it's leaning because we don't have anything, you know, really on this side yet. Okay, let's add our second bow.
Now I can go this way. I think I like it just like that. Let's run it through. amazing how going through a grapevine those pipe cleaners totally take a reroute sometimes <laughs> go, to, go their own way and get completely lost all right let's tighten this one on oops missed the ducktail on this one Separate out that button. Okay. I like that one. This one's curling under a little bit more than I want it to, so I'm going to go ahead and snip it and just make it a little bit shorter. Just like that. And we can come back to this also. Once we start putting our stuff in here, if we don't like it, we'll just move everything around. I think that looks super, super cute so far. So like I said, this is not a traditional grapevine. We're covering it up majority, um, but we just didn't want a big full mesh wreath. You know, the grapevine bases are really good for stuff like this. So <clears throat> now we're going to start building out from under our bows. Now I am running low on greenery, so I don't have just a huge selection of greenery. So I'm working with what I got because obviously I've been sick, haven't had time to go to Hobby Lobby. So let's get our greenery out and um, go ahead and start adding it. Yeah, you can get some water. Okay, so this piece is, um, no, I'm doing a tutorial. Um, this piece I got from, I don't remember where, I wanna say Hobby Lobby. It's been a while. <laughs> And so it's just kind of a, a darker green fern. So I'm going to chop that up a little bit. All right, so I cut that up and we're just going to start adding it. So like I said, we're just going to be we're just going to start building out from under our bows. This is where I should have had my glue pot plugged up so that I don't burn the heck out of myself. So let's see if we can get that heated up quickly. Until then, until then, we will just work with what we got. I'll just run a bead of glue on the back of it. You could always do a dry run if you're not sure how it's going to look and just place everything and then go back and glue it. But I kind of have this idea in my head of how I want it to look, so I'm just going to go ahead and start placing. Now, I only have one of these ferns, but I have some other greenery too, so I'm just really going to spread this out to make sure I have enough to cover my area first. We didn't use the four inch ribbon up here because we want to keep our bigger look. We want it to flow down. So we didn't want to take attention um, away from it and just have a whole lot going on. Then it just looks like a big blob wreath and you don't want that. All right, 
we're just going to continue to carry these up a little bit. than I expected, but that's okay. This middle piece is different and I really like it. I wish I could get a whole bush of this metal, this middle piece. And we're just gonna come up to the top and use this as this top piece here. Just like that. Oh, I have one more fern. Let's get it added. Where do we want to add it? I go in right there. All right, so we have that now. We have these lighter green pieces. Now, I don't know what this is called, and I don't even remember where I ordered it, but I wanna say it was the wreath shop. It is number 82378, and it's just kind of a wispy green. You know, it's not like this. This looks a little more fake, but it's a wispier green. And I only have one of them, so we're gonna chop it up, see how far we can take it. And now they are pretty long it's not a pusher so we can cut some of these in half but we do want some long pieces coming out of the bottom of our grapevine is this hot yet i think it is turn it down a little bit because it's smoking now i'm not trying to carry this too far over so i'm going to come out of the bottom right there oh yeah that got hot quick See if I can not drip this on myself. Perfect. This is really leaning. That's going to really mess some things up. That could be really bad. There, that would make it look totally different if I decorated it while I was leaning. All right, we're gonna come out right here. Okay, so we're just building some greenery out of our bow. Come right up to the top here with this long piece to really finish it, finish off that crescent moon look that we like to carry with our great bonds. And then we can come in here and work in some smaller pieces. So now we can take these and I'm just running it in here and just chopping it in half. So now we have some smaller pieces to work with. We definitely want the bottom to be more full than the top. That's why we're filling in down here more. There's really just no perfect way to fill greenery in. You just kind of have to work your way around and do what feels right. 
do what looks right to your eye. There's just no perfect formula for it, you know? So, so far in this, you know, we haven't used a whole lot. We're only, we're using two greenery bushes. So these are probably a total of $10. And we made this heart. So that heart probably cost a total of like $4 maybe. And then this sign from Doors, what I did obviously. And um, that one was probably, I want to say probably 14 with shipping. And um, our bows, and this is the two greenery picks. So it already looks really, really full, and it's a very good stopping point um, without having a lot of cost. When we finish with these two greenery picks, it's already a very, very good stopping point. Just greenery coming from each bow, and um, Oh goodness, greenery coming from each bow and some, um, a sign or two hearts, you know, whatever, that's our sign basically. So you can make stuff as simple or as complex as you would like. We know that we like to go a little more on the complex side here in the VIP. We like a little bit of complexity over the top but sometimes you do like the simple too. Okay, where are we seeing some empty spots? I think some right here behind this bow. Right in there. We got one more piece. So I'm taking a step back and seeing where I think I need a piece. And I really want one coming out of this bow right here, I think. So I'm gonna go up under here and this one is just literally gonna be glued to the bow. That way it can be seen and it carries that full effect right there. So that's where we're at so far, and that's a really great stopping point. List that bad boy for sale. You have about, how much did we say? Let's see, 15, 20, the ribbon, let's say 25, 35, $35 in it. List it for, gosh, 80, 85. Um, that's on the low end. Great bonds usually run more expensive because you usually put more florals in it, but you could really get away with this. So that's what we have so far. Now let's add some fun stuff. <clears throat> Obviously, I brought a lot of different things to my table. I don't really know what we're going to use. I brought some glittery um, white grass picks because now we're making it fun. I think we are going to add a few of those. And so I'm just chopping this up, which I only have, I have one pick that has three on it. And then one pick that has one on it. So I do think I like, I do think I like that vibe because that's what we're going for. We want that greenery, earthy feel, but we want some fun. Now it's time to add some fun. So we're just going to go right in here with this greenery and get it down in that grapevine. Just like that. And so that's what these are called. These came from Craft Outlet. They do call them a paper grass spray. Now I'm kind of at a loss of where I want to put another one. because I'm, I'm working with the curvature of my wreath, but this is really kind of throwing things off here because I'm trying to elongate it more and not 
not really, you know, um, circle it out. I want to elongate it more, make it more oval shape. We don't really necessarily want it just super round. So work that one in down there. We'll bring this one into the middle. Oh, that paper just came right off of there. Let's see if we need to work this fourth one in here. We can fill it in right there. I really want to get this going full and fun, so we are going to add it. I think it's going to come out just fine when we're done. I know it's looking wild, but... I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, what else do we have? Actually, I didn't bring as much to the table as I thought. Do I want to add these? Is that too much greenery? That might be too much. I think we've got enough greenery going on. Oh, okay, so before I go any further, I did want to add a couple of ornaments. So I have these ornaments that are really cool. They're black and white glitter and they're like a sphere. I thought they were pretty cool and I want to add them in. I got these at Ellis Home and Garden last year. They were originally $6.99. I probably bought them when they were like 70% off. So, you know, don't, don't really have a whole lot in them. You could also just um, do some basic red ornaments if you wanted to do that. So we definitely need to wire these in. I knew I wanted to use these as an accent. So what we're gonna do, because it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to see it, actually, we're going to try to zip tie it. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Okay. Here's my little trick. We are going to run the zip tie in first. So I'm going to find where I want to put this ornament. And I'm running the zip tie through the back. And then I'm going to run the zip tie through the top of this ornament because it already has a little hole right there. Oh. Now the only hard part about this one is this is, you know, my smaller zip tie. But this isn't going to go through that hole. So I'm kind of having to force it through. That hole's not very big. And it's not just a standard little nipple ornament. So if I could ever get that pulled through without cutting it, I don't think I have my pliers in here. No. I don't know if I can get it pulled through enough to zip tie it. So, new plan. We're just going to run it through. Let's see. 
see if we can just run it around one of these decorative counterparts. The little outskirts of it. So that was supposed to be my little trick and it didn't work. Even though it should have. So that was disappointing. Super disappointing. Oh my gosh, guys. This is not going to work the way I want it to. Now I'm super sad. Okay, scratch that. I will show you all that trick on something better. Today, this is not it. <laughs> I really wanted to zip tie that to that grapevine, but oh well. I have to make work what we got. Okay, so we're just gonna run a pipe cleaner through. Because you shouldn't be able to see it. Because we'll pull it in tight just like that and it'll be covered up. We're just going to have it dangling right there. Just like that on that one finally and now <coughs> we'll run the second one through the top we're gonna have it up here like so so do we want it pointing up Right here above this bow. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna work it in right here by this bow. All right, let's just run this through right here and right here. So many things to run through this grapevine. So it takes the longest. Gosh. Just spread those loops and stuff out around it. Just like that. Okay, let's get our other stuff placed. Now I have these hearts. I like these. We used them in our other design because it's almost like a floral pick. So I definitely wanted to incorporate this in here. And I think I'm going to cut this one in two. I'm just running this one in here for it to settle. I want it to settle right where we put in that ornament in there because it's going to act as a cover also for that nipple piece. Just like that. And just spread that out in there. This needs to be trimmed a little bit shorter. 
I want it just peeking out from this bow. I want these long semi pieces flowing out here. And I'm going to bring this other one in here. Actually, let's see. a little more flowy so I think we're gonna bring this one in finish out our piece this way and spread it out just like that Have two more so we'll run this longer one out of the top And then we'll run this smaller one. It's coming apart a little bit, so I'm just twisting it back together. We'll finish it out on the side here. I'm loving the way that this is coming together. I really, really like it. Should we move you guys closer? Can y'all see that? Hopefully you can see what I'm doing after I take the picture, y'all. Hopefully it's coming through a little bit better than what it looks like on the camera. All right, so we have parts. Now, because we're doing some black and white in here, I do have these black and white little baubles. We could throw a few of these in there. Let's see. Let's try it. These came from Ellis. Um, I grabbed a few more because they had their stuff 70% off the other day. So I grabbed a few while I was there. I'm dang on this one right down here. A glue pot works way, 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 way better for grapevine projects because you are constantly having to shove stuff in there. And so if you're trying to use that glue gun, oh my gosh, you will burn yourself so much. All right, let's dang on that down right there. I'm not liking this one piece. I'm gonna chop it. It's sticking out too much. But I do like those bobbling right there. This little piece. We don't want it to go to waste. We're just gonna throw it in there. So 
the little details. Carrying out everything. So cold here today and so I have on this sweater because I'm super comfy but when I'm in my craft room with my door closed and the heaters on <laughs> that glue skillet going it gets kind of warm it gets a whole lot of warm actually Okay, let's get a few up top. Now these are light enough to where really you can kind of just stick them in there and glue them to that greenery. You don't really have to do anything special. We are going to run this one into this bow. All right, I'm gonna go one more, I think up top. I think those little baubles are really cute. Now we do have some ornaments. I almost want to run some of these in there too. Like that. I think I like it. I'm tearing that nipple off of it though. I'm gluing it straight in. Glue it right there, we're gonna see if it holds. Now my luck, that was the only red glitter one I had in here. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to um, get some more. That's okay. Also brought this. Y'all know I love these finials. I had thought about um, putting that in there and dangling it down. Just like that. You could do it to the side. You could bring it right in there though. I personally like it. So I'm going to do it. I'm just going to glue around this nipple though, so that it doesn't come off. Because that's the last thing that you want. It's the last thing you want to happen to this beautiful ornament that you have hanging on your wreath is for it to just fall right off of your customer's door. Okay, let's go in here and see where we can attach this guy. Let's see. Doing a little undercover work.
Now I'm just gonna stick one through and I'm gonna bring my other one around the bottom, I think, and just run it around. And let's see if I can get it pulled into the place that I want it by doing that. Just like that. I think that's super cute. That really carries that oblong look and really elongates it the way that I wanted to elongate it. So I definitely like that. I brought in some of these little bobbles too. I'm not sure that I'm gonna add those. Now I brought in some um, Buffalo plaid sprays and some Harlequin sprays. I think we're gonna go with the Harlequin. We don't have any Harlequin ribbon in here, but I feel like that just has that edgy look. And I feel like these are more farmhouse. Hmm. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can't decide. Okay, we're gonna go Harlequin. I thought I brought two in here, but I guess I just brought one. So we're going to see if we can make three of these work. When I'm done, I might just have to go grab a couple more and stick them in there, which y'all would see in the picture. want to work a few in here in like a weird way. Like adding it into it like that. And then we can add another one there. So I'm going to add this one here. And now since I already have it where I want it, possibly. grab some glue and jab it into place. I don't necessarily want to carry it straight down. Also, don't want to carry it all the way over here. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. Running it past this greenery. That way, some of that greenery still sticks out past the Harlequin print. If I can get it stuck in there high enough where I want it because I want this to be a tighter curl like that so we have that like that and I think I like that Kason I'm busy I'll, I'm recording You're gonna take the gun okay it's off. okay okay Kason go ask Tony, Tony won't yes he will oh my gosh guys Okay, and now he's having a meltdown. My oh, poor baby. He's playing this game. <laughs> and now he found it. Now he's fine. Wow. Okay. Crisis averted, apparently. 
Okay, I feel like there's an empty space right here that I just really need something. And so I'm not sure what I want to add. I don't want to add another curl there. I could almost add some ribbon tails. Um, let's see about these parts. This is just like a big metal steak. Valentine's 20, okay, Hobby Lobby. These came from Hobby Lobby last year. So let's see if I just cut one off. We can stick a few in there. And stick that down in there just like that. And I feel like we could do a few, almost like a little bouquet. Almost like a little bouquet looking area. Just to fill in that emptiness, but we can run a few more. Uh-oh, I need to go that one back on. Sorry guys, now my door is open, so I'm just going to finish my door open. And they're in there playing, so. All right, stick that back on that stick. This is the last thing we're adding. We're just going to finish putting a few of these hearts throughout. Okay, I'm gonna put this one over here. But then I'm gonna take a small one with a longer stick. And run it right out of here. Kind of dangling down just like that. We have those going on. And I think I'm going to try to work something into the middle there. Just that little bit of blank space. Just giving it something. You can't really see it, but y'all know how I am about the hidden areas. That I feel like, you know, definitely need some filler. I don't know if this one will curl. Nope. Those are just danglers. And that's okay. Alright, so we've definitely got some wild hearts going on. This is definitely like wild about you without the leopard print. Um, there's a lot of people that don't like animal print. So this is kind of a wild Valentine design without that animal print. All right, guys. I think it's done. I really like it. So I hope this inspired you guys to make something different with your great buns. It doesn't have to just be florals. You can add your normal wreath embellishments to it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Bye.